Hello everybody. This might be the last video in this room I'll ever make. I'm gonna move one further since this will be or is already converted into a children's room. Which it honestly should be. So uh, we'll make a hobby room just nearby. Same size of window will just look a little bit different. I might not be able to make standing up videos anymore or if I do will be a slightly different angle. Um, wearing my new Santoria shirt here with the classic ERG sponsor and the topic is my the top 10 club shirts that I want to have and honestly this list is a little bit it was like pulling teeth in a way uh, pulled from the butt if you want to say because I don't have such a clear list as I have for national teams and I wrote it down I jotted down teams that I would like to have but right here try to make some order and figure it out oh, not as scientific it, it was quicker for me for national teams but I came up with the following list which is not even a true top 10 because I want to start with something I would have been in top 10 if I wouldn't get the shirt this week uh, maybe by the time this video posts I already have it so there you go. This is the Paris Saint Germain 95 96 kit. I always want to have, you know, I have this is my only Paris Saint Germain shirt that I have. It's a white with the red. I wanted to have always the blue and the white switch, the classic PSG design. This one, this from the 98 99 season, looks nice on the away shirt. The home shirt actually doesn't look as great, to be honest with you. Um, and for that reason, I always want to have one of the, actually the most successful PSG period when you consider Europe, which was the mid 90s. Um, so I always wanted to have one um, and I didn't have a preference until I realized yeah, the 95, 96 shirt that's the one that won the European Cup against Rapid Vienna in it. And I'll tell you the story about that because that was a shirt that I really liked, has all the things that I would require from a PSG shirt. Back then I was a huge PSG fan, nowadays with Neymar and the Qataris, not so much anymore. Uh, still there's some slight sympathy for them. So that would be a shirt that would have been in the top 10 if I have made the video a month, a week ago or so on. I knew I'm gonna get this shirt and it's already in the pipeline. So therefore it doesn't make it. Uh, at number 10 is actually two shirts, so I'm cheating a little bit. But this is of the new Nike third jersey range. There are two that I really would like to have. And I'm gonna say the one that I think is less likely I'm gonna have is the Ice Roma 1819 third jersey, which is the yellow one with the map of Rome and the big wolf set on there. I don't necessarily like the monochromatic logo, um, but I get that's the style. I actually really like this one. I would like to have it. It would fit nicely with my Roma collection. I have the red one, I have a white one, and I have the black one. Um, the yellow just makes sense to have. Honestly, from my perspective, this is a color that I didn't get. And for that reason, yes, I have a lot of yellow shirts, but I barely have any club shirts. Mm, maybe that's the only club shirt in yellow that I have. More likely, however, because my daughters and my little daughter, you might have heard her before. Ah, little daughter, my big, my bigger daughter, she really wants me to have a pink shirt. And while pink, the Real Madrid, uh, I think it was the 1415 away jersey in pink, would be the one that mostly comes to mind because it was so fitting with the Peacock Ronaldo in pink. Uh, it was just perfect. Uh, and it actually looks okay. It's just, you know, Real Madrid. Mm, not that big of a fan anymore. I was a fan when they played in these jerseys. Uh, they were playing well. Uh, or when they had Zidane. Nowadays, Real Madrid, not so much anymore. And this jersey was just a little bit too much. Uh, obvious choices for a pink jersey, of course, would be Palermo, which are now Serie B, B if they even are still there. And the other one that would be an obvious choice would be a Juventus away jersey. But I honestly didn't find anyone that I like. Um, and now a team that I really that I actually like that has a pink jersey and I have some trouble with that is of course Barcelona but I like this that they have the map on there uh, you know I'm a little bit of geo freak so for that reason I'm actually really thinking about that pink Barcelona shirt 
and my daughters will be very happy if I finally have a pink shirt. Papa, you need a pink shirt. Papa, you need a pink shirt. Yes, I might get this one and I've been hinting at it. So this is more or less cooking in the pipeline. So this is my number 10. It's not very high on the list, but it's probably one of the next ones that I will get. Number nine also, somewhere there is Pauk Saloniki. I wanna have more black and white teams. The only black and white team that I have is Lusk, which is my team. But you know, I don't have any other team with black and white shirts and there are actually not too many. There is Newcastle, there's of course Juventus, and then there's Pauk. And I always thought, yeah, Greece, Pauk. And now with Yanis as my most loyal subscriber, uh, it's even more. What Pauk has in addition is Macron as a um, supplier at the moment. I really want to have a Macron kit. I don't have one so far. So yeah, Pauk Saloniki, which one? Uh, I like the current one, the 1819 which they probably will become champion in, who knows. But I, 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 if I look at it, the 1718 with the slightly thinner straps looks even better. So yeah, that would be my choice, therefore. Number eight, and now we're getting into territory. Uh, those are either rare shirts or shirts that I have a strong connection with. Number eight is Napoli 1990-91. The one where they have the Scudetto on, uh, the one with the Mars sponsor, the last one that Maradona ever wore. Yes, 89.90 would be even nicer, but the first Napoli shirt that I ever saw was the with the Mars 1990-91. So for that reason, it is special. Um, actually, the I saw today even the 87-88 when they won uh, the double. Uh, with Buitoni sponsor looks even more special but to me the one with the Mars sponsor that is kind of the one that I would like to have um, another one more recent I really would like to have a Napoli jersey but what I don't like currently is that they have all these double sponsors um, so you basically need to get a European kit I don't like the Champions League kits this year or Although I actually can live with the wild pattern that they have on there, but I saw that the 1415 home shirt also has only one sponsor. It has also the green outline along the Macron logos. Macron shirt, so I would like to have that one. Number seven. <laughs> That's one that beats the rule that I usually want to have a home jersey. It's the Valencia 2015-16 away jersey. Could also be the 12-13 away jersey, 13-14. The one with the yellow and the red stripes with the blue shoulders. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm saying the 1516 because it's the Adidas version that is unsponsored as far as I know. And if it has a spot, sometimes it comes with a sponsor. And more importantly, I see this one almost every day at work. We have an operator's office. They put shorts up there, many of which I actually don't have. Although they would like that I put some of mine up there. And I said, no, I cannot do that. But they have that Valencia shirt, and that's the one that I really, really would like to have of the ones that they have there. So Valencia 15-16 away. This would be where I would prefer an away jersey over the home jersey. I've actually seen on the same page where I got this shirt from. I saw the Valencia 2000-2001 uh, where they were in the Champions League final, the Nike one. I was thinking of getting that one, but in the end ended up not. Uh, although that team with Mendieta, that was a great team that I liked a lot. And for that reason, yeah, Valencia, I don't want to say they're my number two or three team, but I always liked Valencia. In Spain, I have, um, it's almost a little bit like Italy. There are teams that I like, um, you will see in the honorable mentions. There are other teams that I would like to have jerseys from, and I'll let you know in the honorable mentions. Number six, um, I want to extend my England collection beyond the three London teams that I have right here. Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham uh, and the one that really screams is Newcastle 97-98. Yes, it has the, cent the sponsor in the uh, center and the crest in the center, but it has the Newcastle uh, sponsor. Uh, the 98-99 is nice. I'm just not sure about the blue added on. That always seemed a little bit weird to me and for me even weirder because the big city rival of Lusk is playing in blue. So uh, that's kind of an accent that's not too fond about. Um, and there was, of course, the earlier one, I think 95, but it's a little bit wider stripes. I like from the 97, 98, I like that they have the thinner stripes 
and of course I would like to have I could have any Newcastle shirt but I would like to have one with the Newcastle brown ale uh, it's just such a classic super sponsor that should be on there so that would be my Newcastle shirt all the others that I mentioned um, are a close second to that one that would be my pick and I don't like that the crest is centered as it's found before I make the crest number five I mentioned you were before Yes, I should have a black and white Juve shirt and talk about that in a while. But the one Juve shirt that I really would like to have is the 95-96 away shirt. The blue one with the two yellow stars that they won the Champions League in. That shirt is a beauty. And yes, at the moment I don't want Juve to win anything in Serie A anymore. And they will win Serie A for an eighth time in a row, which I get absolutely mad at. But I don't dislike Juve per se. Uh, actually, if you ask me, among the Champions League teams this year that have a realistic chance, a good case can be made that I would like Juve to win this one. Um, I'm not fond of Ronaldo getting a fourth one in a row, but I would like that Juve finally wins this Champions League, gets over that hump, and now that they're not, you know, I would like to see a different, I don't want to see a Spanish champion anymore. Yes, if Barcelona makes a final against Bayern or some others, I probably will pull for Barcelona. Barcelona is probably of the realistic teams still my favorite in there. Uh, but I'm split. I think I would like Barca. I, I, I would like Juve to win. And this 95-96 home shirt, that's a beauty. Uh, of course, there are some striped shirts. I like the Danone shirts that they had in 92-93, where there's no crest on yet. Um, then a more recent one, I think it was the first Adidas shirt that looked nice. Also the last couple of Nike shirts I liked. I don't like the new crest, so that's a no-go for me. Number four, let's stay in Italy. And there are not too many. It, uh, it's initially, I thought this list will be full with Italian teams. Not that much. I tried to refrain. But number four is an Italian shirt that I loved back then and I still love today. Parma 95-96 home, the white one with the yellow-blue shoulder. Uh, this was a Puma design that I, at the time I adored. I'm not so sure I'm that fond of it anymore, but this Parma shirt really low looks good. Also the Bulgaria shirt uh, from the same period looks really cool and I liked a lot. So um, this Parma shirt is one that I would like to have. Others that I would like to have is the 98-99. Um, with the yellow-blue striping uh, where they won the UEFA Cup in. I also like that one a lot. Um, and the current away jersey, that is a similar design, also I like a lot. Parma used to be my second Italian team. A little bit lost them since they had all this, um, you know, Parmalat crash and everything. Uh, a little bit lost Parma. Uh, but when I see them play now, I still find my love for Parma. This is in the mid 90s, Parma was an absolute amazing team to watch. And yeah, I found memories of Parma and I really would like to have that shirt. It's not the most successful, but it's the one that I liked most. Before we get to the top three honorable mentions, uh, I can rattle off now a few Italian teams that I don't have a shirt yet. Um, there is uh, Udine. I really would like to have a black and white Udinese shirt. I think that was one that I really would like to have. Um, I really like the current Lazio shirt, the one with the eagle. I'm not a bigger fan of Lazio, but that shirt is wonderful. Lazio generally has great shirts. But uh, the one with the eagle, the white and the, on the top and the darker, uh, wonderful. Um, I have also written on Hellas Verona, we already said a black and white uh, Juve shirt. Cagliari, you know, I actually would like to have a lot of Serie A shirts. If I want to go more club shirts, uh, the Serie A direction is the one where I go. Um, in Spain, Espanyol, Atletico, all teams that I actually would like to have. I'm also thinking uh, the Sevilla teams. The currently, Betis Sevilla has great jerseys. I, I don't know if it's the green and white or if it's the one with the cityscape below that I would go for. So, you know... Those are teams, I even think Real Sociedad, Athletic, Bilbao, um, teams that I don't necessarily root for, but that I would like to have 
because I'm fond of them. But I think Espanol, um, Atletico, Valencia, those are probably the ones that I really would go for meanwhile. Uh, other teams um, that I have written down here, and this is, um, you know, I want to have the current Stuttgart shirt. I want to have a few more, I want to have a few German shirts teams. 1860 Munich comes to mind. Um, in England, yes, probably nowadays. I didn't like Liverpool since they beat Milan in 2005. But meanwhile, I want them to win the championship. The Leicester shirt, West Ham, Aston Villa. Those are some that I would like to have. I have a whole South American section here, but maybe that I'll leave for another day of the, uh, the countdown. Boca is on top of that list. And then, you know, um, Benfica Porto Sporting, of course. Um, and then two that I want to mention, Levski from Sofia, because that's my wife's team and I really need to get a Levski shirt. And Young Boys Bern, you know, in why Switzerland? Well, Young Boys and Lask have a long-standing uh, friendship, so I really would like to have a Young Boys shirt and I have one particular month in mind, the 2010-2011 from Puma uh, with the brush strokes, you know, it's a yellow with a thick black and then a few thinner white ones. That one I would like to have too, so you know, there are some in there and as you can see there is a whole list of teams that I've written down that would be like, that's the South America section. You can stop and see. I'll make something there. Okay, number three. I want to have a Barcelona shirt with UNICEF and what better one than the 2010-11 Barcelona home shirt. Great team. Great shirt design, I like the red, blue with the yellow neck UNICEF logo on there. I didn't like the red pants, although that one it didn't look that bad. Yes, a Mabo shirt would be even better, but if I think about it, that would be the Barca shirt that I would like to have. Another one with UNICEF is the one that they wore in 2008-9, the neon yellow with the off-center stripe. That was also a great shirt. So yeah, Barcelona. 10, 11, home. Number two. And now here I is the AC Milan 98-99 third jersey. The black one with the three red stripes that they sealed the championship in 99 in. What a jersey. I'm in love with this jersey since forever. Uh, and I never saw it to buy. And when I see it, it's super expensive. It's the, I mean, I know that the player that... Um, I remember most is Bierhoff and he's a, he is a German player, but yeah, he, he got Milan the championship. That was completely unexpected at the time. Um, yeah, and now I remember there was also another shirt from that season, the Fiorentina shirt with Nintendo, although I never really was a huge fan of that one because it looks a little bit weird. With, it has too much white in my liking, but it's also a classic shirt. But that 98-99 uh, Milan third jersey, I really would like to have that one. That's for me the gold standard for Milan Black choices. Uh, not the ones that I have. And number one, we stay with the same team. In the same year almost. Milan 99, the centenary shirt. That's my holy grail for club jerseys. Uh, I really would like to have this jersey. I was in Milan uh, in 99. I was at the Milan fans store and I didn't have this shirt. And I really would like to have it. I never saw it to buy. I need this shirt. That's one that I really would like to have. As you see, one and two are Milan shirts. I can make a top 10 list of Milan shirts that I want to have. Also note, I didn't put any Lask shirt on there because I think all the Lask shirts, except for maybe one that I want to have, I have. Um, they had some weird shirts as of late. So I'm not so crazy about Lask shirts lately. Um, maybe the one from 2006 to 2007, that was an Umbro shirt that I really liked. Um, I will probably pop it up here if I can find it. But yeah, that's my top 10 so far. It might change and I can tell you, I can make a top 10 of Milan jerseys. Um, when I think Barca home, I also would like to have the Centenary jersey too. But the Milan Centenary jersey, my absolute top one jersey I need to have. I'm, work I'm working on it. I'm going to get this one. Well, let me know which jerseys you want to have, which one of my top 10, are there others? I'm sure I've forgotten some. And yeah, 
give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!